Hey guys, John here with Muscle Car Central. Today we're going to talk about Speedo gears um, and how those are installed and, and what you need to look for if you're looking to change um, or replace your Speedo gear. If your speedometer is off a little bit, um, you know, from what your actual speed is to what your speedometer is showing, you can adjust that Speedo gear um, to, to accommodate and get that Speedo reading correctly. There's a link on our tech you know technical page on our website um, check that out it'll tell you exactly how you need to figure out whether you need to increase the teeth or decrease the teeth when changing that speedo gear if you're just replacing it because it's worn out and you want a new one what you need to do is check the color and the tooth count on on each you know on your original speedo gear before you give us a call and we can make sure we get the the correct gear for your car um, if you are a Muncie four speed or a turbo 350, they're going to use the same style speedo gears, which are these, these smaller ones. Um, that's going to go inside of the retainer sleeve, which will go into the side of your transmission and then it's held in to the transmission with the, you know, a little tab and uh, screw your turbo 400, however, has a different, um, fitting that you need to hold your speedo gear. These are also going to um, vary depending on the tooth count for your turbo 400. So, so pay attention to that. Again, you're going to want to count the, the teeth on your original gear and look at the color of that. On these fittings for the turbo 400, it'll also tell you on the face of it, which gears it's compatible or I'm sorry, which tooth count it's compatible with um, on that, on that fitting. When you go to, if you're going to replace your original and you're going to keep your original sleeve, um, you probably also want to grab the seal that goes in the back of it and replace that when you have that out. That's going to be the same whether you're a uh, Turbo 400 or if you're a, a, a um, Muncie or a Turbo 350. The cables, once you get that into the transmission, your Speedo cable is just going to screw right on the back of that. And then that, you know, your inner cable will connect with the, the speedo gear that is going to run all the way up to your speedometer. The back of the speedometer, if you're replacing your cable, you also want to make sure you get the correct style. 69 up is going to use a clip-on style at the speedometer. 67 and 8 Camaro Firebird has a screw-on connection where it meets your speedometer. So next, Jimmy's gonna show us how this goes into your transmission. Again, this is gonna be real similar whether it's the Turbo 400 or a Muncie or Turbo 350. Disconnect your speedometer cable first, where it just screws on. Okay, we're replacing your speedometer gear. Sometimes it, it's nylon, it can wear out. Your main shaft gear on this transmission is metal, so it wears out quicker. So then you just 7 16 wrench, after you disconnect your speedometer cable, which unscrews here, the 716 wrench takes out your retaining clip. And you just pop it out with a screwdriver. There's your gear, and your gear that's on your. Mm -hmm. You can see the gear that's on your main on uh, main shaft on your transmission, which turns this gear here. Reverse and has a rub the rubber O ring, which keeps it from leaking. Transmission fluid, put your clip in, 7 16th nut, bolt. I'm sorry, it's not a nut, it's a bolt. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is your speedometer cable. This screws into the back of your dash on the early models, the later models, there's a clip. You got the other cable too? Okay. The 69 up has a clip on it. It slides into the back, same as this. Like where this screws in, this one goes in, there's a clip on the back of your speedometer housing. It clips onto that. So this is the, well, we'll do a 69. Then once you get all this done, this screws on. We 
what you're doing is underneath the car most of the time. You just tighten that up and the other end screws up under to your dash through your firewall. It's usually a clip on your bottom under your car for this. And this goes into your firewall grommet. And this goes to your speedometer. All right, guys, don't forget to check out that um, sheet that I mentioned in the technical links on our webpage. It'll show you exactly how you need to calculate to adjust your, you know, your speedometer up or down if it's reading off. Um, pretty much it's going to take into account your gear ratio, tire size, and then you're also going to need to know about how, you know, how far off that speedometer is um, from what it's actually reading. Um, check out that link. If you have any questions, give us a call, drop us a comment. Let us know what you have questions on. We'll get a video made.